Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode we're going to be looking at installing Genie. Uh, Genie is going to be the all-in-one editor for your HTML, PHP, uh, JavaScript, Java, C++, anything that you're really trying to get any editing for as far as development and coding. This is going to be my personal favorite. Now it does include syntax highlighting right off the bat and there's a, also a variety of other plugins that I will show you how to install in just a second. To get it installed you just need to simply type in one command that the source list should already be updated with the correct location of where to find it. So go ahead and type in this command in your terminal. Now it's a small file so it should only take a second but the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is open up our Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, the reason I'm going to open the Ubuntu Software Center is you for one could download it from here if you'd like to if you're not too uh, friendly with the terminal but the main make sure I spell that right the main reason I'm going to do that is that you want to go in here type it in the top right hand corner and then come and highlight it and press the more info button now once you press the more info button you're gonna see that I do have it installed it gives a kinda of like a little description of what it's about a review but the key is the add-ons and you're gonna see there's quite a few add-ons to pick from so what I like to tell people to kinda of do is you know you wanna come in here and it's a nice little browser so you might wanna come in here and see uh, extra section I'll go ahead and do now each time that you do click on a check mark it might take a split second for it to kinda of register so don't hesitate if you see or don't worry if you click on something and nothing's responding give it about five seconds and it should go ahead and do that Number inserter, uh, we're going to go down to the Lorium to make some mockups. If I want to go ahead and make some templates for my HTML, as you see, I'm trying to scroll right now. There we go. There would not let me scroll there for a second. Uh, spell checker, I know there's a spell checker in here. Spell checker is definitely key. Very easy to see some misspelling words that way, especially with all the highlights and all that going on update checker we wouldn't mind that as you see look at I just or open up the entire screen and you're gonna notice that there's this gray gap right here and this is from software centers lag and you can see there's quite a bit of it but if you just kinda wait, uh, patiently wait there for a split second everything can take care of itself uh, the more checks that you do the lag it could possibly get uh, but as soon as you go ahead and highlight it and check to whatever you want to go ahead and install you just come over here and click apply changes you're probably then going to be greeted with your password. So get that typed in. Press enter. Should get the update icon. That's going to be right up in here. The installer. Any day now. There we go. The progress bar. And you can see it's pretty quick there. So once we've done that, I'm going to exit out of the software center so just take one quick second okay I can exit that there's genie now I can either go into tools plugin manager and you can see I have them all there you just need to make sure that you check the ones that you want to use so I'm going to use the tree browser and you see how I check the tree browser and uncheck the tree browser you're going to notice on the side right there tree browser done uh, spell check is going to happen here insert numbers HTML characters, extra section, update checker, and I'll just leave it like that. Again, everybody's going to be you know a little different on exactly what you're looking for. And if you do have any questions, you know where the section is below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.